Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing an empties video. Basically what we do in these kinds of videos is take a look at the products that I've used entirely from start to finish and give you my thoughts on them. Some of these products I used for the very first time, others are my holy grails. So let's get right into it. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I love makeup. I love to talk about it, play with it. And if you do too, subscribe. I'd love to have you in this little space of mine and without further ado if you want to take a look at my empty little bin that i have going on then please stay on and keep on watching all right so we're jumping straight into it and i'm gonna start with this guy i'm going in no particular order the very first product that i have is my neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes i've gone through more than one pack easily i basically use these as i'm filming to wipe away swatches as my makeup remover overall every single day and they never they've never failed me these wipes i'm sure you guys know are a holy grail ride or die product that just works works my mom even loves them too they get all of the makeup out and they're not super harsh on the skin which is really nice they smell really good and fresh and i know i'm just gonna keep purchasing them over and over again so i just wanted to give this product a shout out Next, moving right along, we have the Ren Pure Sea Minerals Dry Shampoo. Now, it's taken me a while to find a dry shampoo that actually works, and this one does. And I know that I'm going to be sticking to it. I'm the kind of person that when I find something that works, I stop trying anything else, at least for a while. This guy is the Sea Minerals kind. Right now, I'm going through the Rosewater one, but all their different scents have worked for me so far. My hair gets super greasy near the roots and this just keeps it nice and clean. It says it's got zero sulfates, parabens, dyes, gluten, which I didn't know hair products had gluten in them, which is weird. Um, it has no phthalates or propylene glycol. Call. So if those are the kinds of things that you steer away from in your skincare, then look into this one. It really worked for me. Now let's move on to the setting spray. I've got four different kinds of them. I have the ABH Dewy Set Setting Spray, the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, the Max Fix Plus, and the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist with Rose Water and Green Tea. Now, overall, I recommend all four, hands down. As far as the application goes or the little spritzer, I'd say go with the Morphe one. That one has the most gentle mist out of them. As far as price goes, though, go with the Morphe or the Pixie one. They're both around the same price. Uh, the Pixie one, I'll say, does have better ingredients for your skin, however, but the spritzer was a pain. After using it, it stopped working after a couple of applications. Now, the MAC one, one and the ABH one are again pretty much the same price point, a little bit more expensive in the $20 range, uh, but the ABH one has gorgeous packaging if that's something that you look at, which I do love and I just might keep for decor purposes, <laughs> but I feel like the ABH one actually beats all of them as far as how it just leaves your skin looking super dewy and healthy. And of course, you can use all of them to spritz brushes and apply shimmers or metallic eyeshadows on your lid for that extra metallic and any setting spray will do that for you so pretty much like with anything it just comes down to what you're looking for in the product itself i will say that if you prefer a matte finish though to your makeup none of none of these will do that i always go for setting sprays that are more hydrating slash dewy rather than ones that are going to mattify the skin now let's go into powders, shall we? <laughs> I have two of them in my empties baggie. I have the Pretty Vulgar, the Powder Room Translucent Setting Powder in the shade <laughs> Matte About It. And I have the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Now let's talk about the Becca one because oh my goodness, I had never tried a powder like this one before. I got it in my BoxyCharm box uh, a couple of months ago and I saw that a lot of ladies actually were talking about it on Facebook because when you apply it to your skin it feels like you just splashed it with cold water it's it, like icy water it's such a cool sensation I actually used it as an all over the face powder I only used it a few times for baking because I will say that you don't get a lot of product in there and you do run out quick um, also I broke the little flap 
that's on the inside so the that cool watery effect went away eventually so if you do get it just make sure that you don't break that like i did and that you keep it sealed at all times and that'll just keep that freshness in there in the powder it actually says in there that you're supposed to keep it closed at all times but of course but it's a really nice powder i really liked it and i haven't repurchased it just because of the price it's a little bit up there now the pretty vulgar powder this one's amazing to bake with it's smooth it's not too heavy it does a beautiful job at just like smoothing out the skin it's not heavily scented it works and bonus points for the adorable packaging that's always the case with pretty vulgar their stuff is always super cute now i've got four different foundations for you i have the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation i'm in the shade 204 i have the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation i have the wet and wild photo focus foundation and finally i have the wet and wild cushion foundation now the best one out of all of the four i would say it's the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear if you know the l'oreal infallible line of foundations like all of them you know there's a couple of different kinds i feel like this one is just the right amount of luminosity i like in a foundation it's a natural finish so it's not too dewy and it's not too matte it's got a medium coverage so it's not too heavy and not too light i feel like it's the goldilocks i absolutely love this foundation and i've gone through like three of them now the infallible pearl glow foundation would be my next favorite one but it is a little bit too dewy for my skin i do get shiny really quick when i wear this but it has absolutely beautiful coverage i would repurchase it for the summer when i want to that extra glow to my skin now the wet and wild one i do love but over time i found that it's not as luminous as i'd like it to be it is a beautiful foundation and super affordable under 10 bucks but again i really like the l'oreal one better i like that it has a pump instead of a little spatula and a of course you've probably heard that it smells kind of like paint <laughs> i worked a lot with acrylic paint so i can get over the smell really quick but if you're sensitive to that then you're not gonna like it now the cushion foundation the only reason i will say that it, it is my least favorite is because they don't carry my shade <laughs> i bought the shade light ivory and it was way too light on my skin if i would go darker than it like one shade darker then it would be more of a contour color to be honest so they have a pretty limited shade range which sucks because i will say that it's a beautiful foundation beautiful coverage and finish i love the actual product which another thing i don't like is that you don't get a lot of product on there you run out pretty quick it does have spf 15 on there which is really great so again it's the product itself is amazing but i just haven't been able to find my exact match and you do get little product on there now ladies and gentlemen let's talk brows which i have seven brow pencils here that i've gone through and i'm sure there was more <laughs> i go through these really quick because i do my brows every single day let's start with these two i have the flower beauty draw the line eyebrow pencil and the billion dollar brows universal brow pencil i tried both of these for the very first time and i only ended up using them to fill in the thicker portion of the eyebrows instead of the tail ends since their points aren't super sharp i like the tails of my brows to be super dark and sharp and i couldn't do that with these so i used them only to fill in the rest of my brow both of these are super creamy me so you don't have to apply a lot of pressure in order to get pigment but because they are super creamy they also smear off pretty quick i also have better more affordable options so that's why these two are on the bottom of my list and it i just wasn't much of a fan now as far as my next ones you know that i keep talking about these eyebrow pencils and guess what i'm gonna talk about them again <laughs> i have three of the nyx micro brow pencils in the shade espresso and two of the covergirl ultimate brow pencil in the shade soft brown both of these i'd say are an exact dupe of each other they have the same sharp applicator not creamy so it lets you draw thin sharp brow lines to make them look super natural which is why i love them to fill in like the tail ends of my my brows they're 
both about the same price. The only reason I keep switching back and forth is because the next one is almost always sold out in my shade. So if I don't find that one, I go for the CoverGirl one. It's kind of nice to have a backup. So if you want a nice brow pencil that will let you do your brows super quick and will do a great foolproof job, then these are it. I love them. Now moving on to three mascaras that I went through, I have a mini of the Pretty Vulgar Faux Reels Mascara in Black Swan. I have a full size tube of the Tarte Big Ego Mascara and one and a half tubes of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. My favorite of these by far is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Oh my goodness, this one leaves your lashes looking so beautiful and fluffy and full <laughs> and I love it. And in a close second, I would go with the Tarte one. That one also gives you a just beautiful voluminous lashes and the Pretty Vulgar one, I feel like it was just okay. I didn't, it didn't like wow me and I feel like I just used it for the sake of using it <laughs> and not wasting it. But these two, I will say I really love. And speaking of love, let's talk about a concealer that's amazing. <laughs> it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I just love the full coverage of this one and I love that it's not too drying like the Tarte Shape Tape. I actually prefer this one over that one just because of that and also the price of course because this one's like seven bucks where of course the Tarte Shape Tape is like 23 bucks. Um, it's an amazing concealer from the drugstore and I've heard it's pretty similar to the NARS one and that one is 30 bucks. I haven't tried the the NARS one but I've heard a couple of times that it's a do to that so I highly recommend it. Now I have this guy which I wish more people would talk about because it's honestly amazing. I heard Tati Westbrook talk about it, recommend it, so I got it and I loved it. It's the Physician's Formula Refreshment Cucumber and Bamboo ID Puffer and it's exactly that. A minty gel stick that you basically rub underneath your eyes on those days where you didn't get much sleep or you cried a little bit. It's, a, it's okay, we've all been there. And you wake up the next day and your eyes are a little bit puffy. So you use this and it's, it's really refreshing. So it feels like nice on the bottom of your eyelids and it gets rid of the puffiness. It feels really nice and I really liked it. I need to get another one soon. Next, I need to take a second to praise this lip gloss because I used it every single day for over a month for work. I ran out of it and I miss it so much. Again, another one that I wish more people would talk about. It's the Han Skincare Cosmetics All Natural Lip Gloss in the shade Nude Rose. Oh my god, I loved it. I believe I got it in a BoxyCharm box and it's one of those lip gloss that you get so many of them that it kind of like goes under the radar, goes unnoticed, but when you apply it, you put it on once and you get a nice kiss of color for the rest of it day even if the glossiness goes away you still keep that little touch of pink color on your lips without having to reapply constantly it's not sticky at all and it's super comfortable i absolutely loved this lip gloss it's beautiful and finally i believe this is the only highlighter that i've ever hit pan on and ran out of entirely. <laughs> it's from the Pure Cosmetics Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. It's this shade right here, which I can't even swatch for you because it's gone, but I'll try and insert a clip of the video when I first got it in my BoxyCharm. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not glittery at all. It just gave you the most beautiful wet look without the glitter. At first I thought it was gonna be too yellow because it does have like, like that um, sheen of yellow, but it wasn't the case and I loved it. And if you guys know if Pierre sells it individually, I'd love to know because I loved the formula so much. The rest of the palette I haven't touched since I made my BoxyCharm video for that month, but I just kept reaching for this highlighter until it was gone. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. I want to thank you guys so much for being here and pretty much just going through my trash with me. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to see how much product you go through because, I mean, for myself, personally, I do wear makeup five to six times a week. <laughs> and I can also see how I maybe need to branch out a little bit, try more new stuff and expand my horizons, if you will, <laughs> get out of my comfort zone. So I'll try and do that and take 
you guys along with me. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know in that comment section down below. Or if you've also tried any of these products, I'd love to know what you thought of them. I want to thank you again for being here. I really do appreciate it. Again, don't forget to subscribe and like this video before you leave. And hopefully I will see you right here on my next one. Bye guys.